You know, one of the hardest things about running a program that's trauma-informed is you're often trying to solve a problem that students don't yet identify that that is a problem. Students don't always know they have a trauma history. They understand their life for what their life is and their life experiences, and they don't necessarily always define that as a trauma. So where we get really complex here is while that exposure is really changing them at the core of their DNA, they may not be able to say to you, yes, I'm a trauma survivor or I've had trauma exposure. So one of the things that is important for our end as the professionals in the conversation is not that we have to like hunt out trauma exposure. You know, what we're trying to do is create an environment where all of our students can benefit and all individuals are going to benefit from a trauma-informed process. What we're doing is creating the environment and the processes for all students to benefit and students who have had a trauma exposure will thrive because the environment is emotionally and physically safe and they have the ability to be full partners in choosing what they're doing. That's going to benefit everybody, but it's especially important for somebody with a trauma history, and it even makes it more important for students who don't yet identify as a trauma survivor because um, they're not connecting the dots between the behaviors they may exhibit and the trauma exposure. So you're looking at very complicated um, biological and genetic happenings with, with trauma exposure. So students don't always connect the dots. And we don't need to connect the dots for them. We are not mental health counselors. We are not trained in this mental health space. Our job is education and to focus on the instructional and educational needs of the student and then to refer that student to support services for mental health if that's something that's appropriate. The creation of a trauma-informed environment is simply making sure that when a student walks into our program that they, we are we are aligned with what the research says is really really effective practices and again there are the tenants that, that I keep leaning into is that physical emotional safety if a student doesn't feel safe in any environment whether they have a trauma exposure or not they are not going to benefit from what we're doing and that physical and emotional safety is key